my season of episode 71 with my special guest, two little Ruby Gammons, my little daughter. And she wanted to let you all know that she's going to be a big sister really soon. She has a due date, it's the 22nd of March, and you're really fidgety today. And yeah. we're going to tell you if it's going to be a boy or a girl. So, do you want to tell everyone hmm. what is baby's name? Baby Wave. Baby Wave. So, it's going to be a little boy, isn't he? He's going to be your little brother, and you're going to be big sister. And we're thinking of calling him Wade. I love the name. Shella's not sure on the name. I think she's coming round to it. And Tula's gone. What do you think to the name? So our shop is called Wade's, obviously. I just like the name Wade. Our last name is Gammons. He'll be called Wade Gammons. What do you think? And Tula is shaking the camera. Tula. What do you think everyone's going to say in the comments? Do you think they'll like the name? Or not? No. Not? You like the name though, don't you? Baby Brother Wade. Right, tell everyone bye and we'll carry on with the vlog. See you later, oh, we're Good care. So it's Monday afternoon and this is what we have at the top. So you can see there's loads of plastic sheeting been put down all the way around. And they've brought the insulation up here. So yeah, all the way around there. And I have noticed they've actually I'm assuming angle grinded into that brick row just there. So I'm guessing some lead work is going up into that. So let's see how we get on for the rest of the week. Right, the roof guys are getting on well, so we just thought we need to get some cables in. We need two cables for our cameras, or at least two, and then we're gonna have some Wi-Fi in there. So we're gonna put four Cat6 cables through. So that's where they're going, up with the two alarm cables, and then we're just gonna leave them tucked in here for now. But you can see they've got on quite well today. Oh, pull them through. So we've got Nick in the loft, he's pulling them through. That's just there, helping guide it through. And then we're gonna have to get up into the loft and drill through to the other loft, to take it all the way through to the data cabinet. As the cable's pulled through, we'll just screw the board back on there. That's where the window's going in, and I think it's actually going in tomorrow lunchtime. So um, I'm gonna have a look then. But I just wanna show you the other side of this. So they've put this felt on today, and the, the, um, the bits of wood for the tiles. But if we go over there, just so you know where I was, I was over there in that corner. We just pulled that sheet away and dropped them cables down, and we're gonna finish off tomorrow going through that part of the loft all the way to the data cabinet. And if I get time, I'll actually run the cables around to this part of the building. So we'll have a camera somewhere along there. And I'm assuming one along that bit pointing back. And then we'll have the Wi-Fi access point, one of the ubiquity ones. We've got loads all around the shop. That'll go underneath this bit. So just screwed on the ceiling, the POE, so it just needs the Cat6 cable. That's power over ethernet um, but yeah let's have a look at what they've been doing today you can see they've got the whatever material this is for the flat roof and I guess they're gonna lay another material over the top or maybe it's just the lead that goes around the edges and that is the final flat roof material I've no idea I'm not a builder um, but we shall find out tomorrow hopefully they're back tomorrow um, so yeah, that, the windows. So this one will be done as well, or at least started. I'm assuming it will get done all in one day. And that's a couple more things ticked off the list. So let's see what we're doing tomorrow. Right, let's go upstairs. I've got something to show you. We now have the windows in place. So Chris came the other day and installed them. So that's that one just there. And then we've got one through here. The only issue with this one, it's quite difficult for him to fit because there was nothing really for him to fit it against. So we got to knock out a bit of this wall, put a wooden support in for now, so we can actually screw the window in. And then the builders can actually finish off whatever they need to do another day. While I'm standing near the window, the other day we did put the cables through, that's one of them just there. And they're all hidden up there and 
haven't finished it yet, so my ladder is actually still up. So we've got to get back into the loft and drill it through into the other loft so we can connect it into the data cabinet, but we'll do that next week. Or if we get time, I'll do it tomorrow. You can see we are actually using upstairs for a bit of storage now. These are a few TVs that are sold going out over the next couple of days. And we had a big delivery from Home Hardware today and we haven't got enough room to store it downstairs. So we are storing a few bits up here. These are most likely not gonna stay here because it's the gardening stuff. Don't normally stock the gardening equipment up here. But if we have a look downstairs, as you can see, we've actually got stock everywhere. Now Jenny and the guys have been putting it all out today, but it's still crammed full in the shop. It doesn't normally look as messy as this, but we are getting through it. I'll say me, I'm not doing it. So say it's Jenny and the guys. Jenny will be in tomorrow, Saturday, and that's what she'll be doing. And just so you can see it from the outside, this is what the window looks like. Just needs painting, it'll all be sorted. All right, let's wander over and have a look at the one over there. So the roofing guys never actually made it back this week, but the weather has not been the best. It's been snowing this morning, all the snow's gone now. But that is the window. So, looks good. Done a really good job. And again, it just needs painting to finish it off. And hopefully the roofing guys will be back next week to get this stage complete. Actually looks like we had a bit more felt on this bit, but I think that's our builder rather than the roofing guys. Thought we'd have a quick look inside, and as you can see from the floor, it's not very watertight. Quite a few puddles along here, but we don't have a roof on, so you kind of expect that. But I just wanted to see, getting a bit dark in here now, got the felt gone on, and a massive puddle I've just walked through. So let's hope it hurries along and we get this roof sorted out quickly. Just gone midnight on a Friday night, and I'm up in my studio just doing a quick video on that e-bike just there. It's not just an e-bike, it's actually a foldable one. So say you wanted to go somewhere in your car, you can throw this in the boot, and when you get there, you can get your e-bike out, and off you go. It actually goes up to 25 miles an hour, and you don't even need to pedal to start. It's a cool bike. Now, Phil took this out earlier. Let's have a quick look at that video. different and have a couple of stickers on them but I'll show you the images as soon as I've got them. They'll be with us around May and we'll be offering free nationwide delivery. While I'm up in my studio before I go home I might as well show you this. So I've been doing a load of videos on our air fryers which I think I probably mentioned in last week's vlog but they've been selling quite well on TikTok. We're actually sold out of the two litre one now from TikTok and we've started selling this one. So we've only sold a couple, I think, on there at the minute, but that's the Dual Statesman, the one I did the YouTube video on a week ago. So just thought I'd let you know, that's what I've been doing as well. Bye. Bye. Good girl. <laughs>